Hi, this is Icy on Top, Becky's Cakes, and today we're going to do the Snowflake Cupcakes. My Snowflake Cupcakes were recently featured on Wilton's Facebook page, and so I had some requests as to how to make them. So today we're going to get started with that. We're going to first print out a Snowflake template that you can find online. You can do any Snowflake template, there's a lot of free ones on. So we're going to tape it down to a board or a cookie sheet, and then we're going to... Um, Get a piece of wax paper and we're going to tape that down as well. And we don't want the, the tape to be anywhere that the candy is actually going to be on. So we're going to make sure we put our tape strategically just at the tops. And then we're going to get out um, some candy melts. These ones are Wilton candy melts. They are bright white. You can also do this with white chocolate chips, but then it probably won't be quite as bright white. So we're going to get a little silicone bowl, put them in there, and melt them in the microwave. And here is our writing tip. It's going to be a number five. That's a Wilton writing tip. And um, we're going to put the melted chocolate inside that bag. And after melting it, I do it at 30 seconds intervals, just stirring it each time until it gets to this consistency. You don't want to overdo it either. And so we're just going to pour that straight into our writing tip and we're going to start writing out our snowflakes. Just like tracing, just like when you're a kid. Uh, candy melts or chocolate that you put in these are going to be pretty drippy so just be aware of that as you're moving it over this does not pipe out like icing would so you're going to have drips and stuff if you don't keep it moving right on the lines and then I do two at a time so that um, my sugar pearls will stick to it these are whooped and sprinkles and they're silver I do too is these will not stick if they start to, if the snowflake starts to harden. Just pop those right in the center and press down. And then I'm also going to get out my edible glitter and we're going to sprinkle some of that on as well while they're still wet. So this is Sunflower Sugar Art Disco Glitter. And so we're going to get um, Brush. This is my Wilton paintbrush. It's just dry. We're just going to use it so that we can tap it with our finger and that'll just sprinkle onto there just the perfect amount that we like. And after we get them all done, pop them in the freezer, take them out, and we'll get on with the cupcakes. Here's the sky blue from Americolor, and that's the color I want to be piping into my piping bag. I use the 1M tip by Wilton, and I'm just going to swirl these right on. And again, we just want that to stay wet, and um, so I only do three at a time, and then sprinkle my mini sugar pearls, and then strategically place a few larger ones. And the reason I only do three at a time again is because we want the buttercream to still be wet enough for all this to stick. Because if it starts to crust, then your sugar pearls are gonna slide right off, and so are your snowflakes. So now we're gonna take our hardened snowflakes, and we're just gonna peel them right off the wax paper and pop them on at an angle so that they slightly stick up. Because we like, I kind of like that effect. And just press them down just gently, and I'll get them all done this way. Snowflake Cupcakes. Thanks for watching and I have other YouTube tutorials if you'd like to view those. Merry Christmas!